guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Yasser Ahmed. So we are going to continue looking at spreadsheet functions. Um, useful guys, if you're doing an ICTI GCC course. And in this video, we're going to be looking at, look, at, let me say that again. We're going to be looking at um, if statements. So lesson eight, let's go ahead and click. Um, if you haven't already done so, please check out the previous videos. Okay, so what we have here are three tasks, okay? And all of the tasks include or involve the use of an if statement. So task one, use the if statement to output either true or false values based on a logical test. Okay, so let me just click on here first of all and explain what the if statement is. So the if statement checks whether a condition is met and returns one value of true and in one value of false. So the if statement has three parts in total. The first part is the logical test, and this is what we're checking to see. Comma, and then we get to the next part. If the first part is true, so whatever test that we are doing, and if it's true, then we will output something specific here, or we can do a calculation. Um, and if it's not true, then we can output a false value. So let's have a look at the first question. Okay. So mobile phones, we have phones here, the brand, uh, the model, how many we sold. Okay, so this is the cell that we're going to be checking um, for the condition. Just highlight it in blue. If we sell less than 20 phones and it's true, then we're going to output on the target. If it's not true, so let's say this is not less than 20, so it's not true, it's false, then we're going to say on target. Okay, so let's start this. So equals if, just click up here. If this here, this value here is less than 20, this is your logical test. And if that's true, in speech marks, we can write if it's true, under target. Close the speech mark, so that's if it's true. If you press comma, you move on to the false part. If it's not true, um, you're going to be on target. So let's have a quick look. So what are we expecting to see? So this value here, D6, is that less than D, uh, sorry, it's D6 less than 20? It's not true, it's false. So I'm expecting to see on target. However, if I put in 19, which is now less than 20, you can see it's showing a true part. So this is now true because 19 is less than 20. So it's outputting a true part of the if statement. Uh, let me just put it back to what it was. And I'm going to drag down uh, this formula now. So you can either drag it down like this or you can click a uh, little square at the bottom, double click, and it's going to do it for you. Again, you can have a try at changing the numbers and you can see if you change the numbers, then this becomes false because it's not less than 20 anymore. Or if I pull it back to what it was, it becomes true. Okay, right, let me sh let me just quickly do this um, functions here. So if I want to add up the total, again, it's equal sum. If I want to find out the highest, it's equal max. If I want to find the lowest values, equal min. And if I want to work out the average, um, it's going to be equals average. Um, okay, done. Well, right, let's have a look at the next example. So we have some employees. We have hours that they have worked. And are they going to be full-time or part-time? So let's just check what the condition is going to be. So the condition criteria is if they work less than 25 hours, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change it. So if it's less than or equal to 25, then they will be part-time. Else, uh, the full statement will be um, full-time. So if you've worked 26 hours, for example, or more, then they will be full-time employees. Again, this is the cell that we're going to be checking. When you do drag down the formula, so if I click here, we start looking into this cell. So this is relative to this position. Okay, and if I click here, we're looking in this cell here. Right, so let's do this one here now really quickly. Whoops, let me just click up here. Equals if this cell here is less than or equal to 25. So this is your logical test. 
To move on to the next part, you press comma and in the speech marks you can write part time. And if that's not true, so comma to get to the false value, if you're not part time, then you are full time employee. Close the brackets, job done. You can drag it down, just double click if you like. Whoops, maybe just drag it down. There you go, let's check to see if this is working. I want to change that to um, full time. So the lowest value that we can enter should be 26. And that's changed uh, to full time. Let me put that back to what it was, part time. Again, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this across. And that's worked out the total of this uh, range of cells. Highest is 40, uh, the lowest is 10, and then the average. Okay, we're now moving on to the last one, guys. So we have salesperson. We have how many they've sold. This is their target. Um, what I'm going to do is change up these numbers. So 25, um, 17, 8, 6, 7, so this is how much they expected to sell, okay? Um, let's give this guy a bonus. So he sold 25. No, he has got a bonus because he's got 20. So he's got more than 20. Obviously, Sarah, she's not done so well. She sold four and her target was 25. So let's see what we need to do. If the sold is more than the sales target, so if this cell here is more than this cell, okay? Then we're going to add 500 to the salary and if it's not true then the salary will remain the same so for example this is more than this okay then we can add 500 to the salary what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this again so if they've achieved a target or greater then we can add 500 to the, um, to their salary so let's go ahead and do this so equal to if this sold is more than or equals to this cell so this is your logical test if that is true then we want to do a calculation so now since we're doing a calculation we're not going to put it into speech marks we're going to click on this cell here and this will be relative to the position of where the formula is so if you're down here then you're going to be looking in this cell if that's true we want to click on the salary and add 500 so we want to use this cell here and we're going to lock this cell so when we do drag it down it's not going to change position so if sold is more than or equal to the sales target, we're going to add 500. And if it's not true, the false value will be salary remains the same. So we can just click on this cell here. And you can see, uh, let me change that to um, dollar. We can drag it down. So for Sarah, her salary stayed the same because she only sold four and her target was 25. Let's give her some extra money. So let me change that. Let me put in 25. She's equaled her target now. And you can see her salary was 600 and has now gone up to 1100. So we've come to the end of the if statement video. Hopefully that makes sense. Remember guys, if statement has three parts. The first part is the logical test. What are we checking for? Okay, the test. And if the test is true. So for example, uh, this is... Um, more than or equal to 25 if it was true uh we say the part full time let me see no no so what we did here was i'm trying to find um yeah so if the hours worked for muhammad is less than or equal to 25 then it, the true statement is part time and if it's not true then the full statement is going to be full time so you got a true part um, you got the um, so you got the logical test, you got a true, and then the false part of the formula. Right, uh, thank you for joining me again in this video tutorial. I hope that all makes sense. Um, please join me in the next video. Drop your comments below, like and share, and I'll see you all guys. I'll see you guys soon. Then, okay, thank you. Bye bye.